How you doing? Welcome. Welcome to my studio. This is Dad Ram. Um, hey, here it is. I've been uh, putting this thing together for uh, quite a few weeks. I think I've got it down to where I want it. Um, and of course, what I'd like to show you today um, is the creation of the artist easel. Um, of course, the artist easel is probably one of the more simpler tools um, and of course, the least expensive uh, that you could do. You don't have to go and spend, you know, 60, 70, 80, 90 bucks uh, going to an artist supply store to buy it. Um, guys, just build it. Build it out of build it out of material just sitting around. Um, so the video you're watching uh, are going to watch in just a second here is about creating the artist easel um, out of just simple uh, simple material. I tried to use uh, you know some tools I use were are, uh, are more advanced tools. For example, a router, um, but you don't have to use a router. And there's ways of of, of creating soft edges using a sander and things like that. So. You, there's, uh, you know, there's other ways of doing it. What I'd love you to do, though, is just to see the basic construction of it. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Uh, Dad Random always appreciates it. And, of course, my, my, my goal uh, with this channel is to, is to bring some entertainment value to the, the many uh, interests that I have. Uh, of course, Dad Random means random. And, of course, I do a lot of different things. So thank you very much and enjoy the building of the artist easel. Yes. All right. So thanks for watching once again and the artist easel. Today I'm building an easel. So I'm going to cut three inch strips. This thing would be perfect for my easel. Uh, it's scrap lumber. Um, 29. Wow. This thing could be perfect. The only problem with it is, uh, uh, is it, uh, it's heavy. Um, I, have, I have a piece of uh, a quarter inch oak plywood in there that might be better. Um, but this is like just junk, just sitting here, and I gotta use it for something. So I'm gonna use this instead. Uh, even though it'll be kind of heavy, I can't imagine me moving this around. When I'm all done, I get sick of it. Um, I'll just bring it down to the local uh, to the local uh, uh, rejuvenate store or re renews it store, um, and then let them have it. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish making this. Here we go. So looks like I'm gonna. I need to take off this, uh, this corner here. Um. I'm going to move our construction site inside. Since I'm uh, kind of winging this project, what I want to do is make it as simple as I can. So, so as far as a so as far as a plan is concerned, I'm just going to go ahead and try to to, to fasten it the way it is uh, and see if it holds. Um, and then, of course, if it needs screws later, I can always drag the screws in. These are inch and a quarter staples, inch and a quarter. I'm going through material that's less than an inch, so I'll get a little bit of penetrating or holding power. I should probably glue this, but I don't have any glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it without it. Make sure I've got the collar staples in. Every 
shop should have a pneumatic gun with a with an air supply that comes from shop. There we go. Then have the air turned on. strike a line. tools for everything. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a handsaw and I'm going to hand cut those off. Guys, uh, this is my, one of my graphic old saws. This is, this is this cross cut saw here and, uh, and we know it's a cross cut saw by looking at the blade and you can see that they're smaller. The smaller the kerf of the blade uh, means it's a cross cut. Now a, a rip saw, okay, for sawing down the grain of wood would have a larger kerf, meaning that these 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 uh, these, knit, these teeth would be much uh, larger. Okay? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna have to create a little bit of a little space so I can saw these off. Now this is gonna take me a little while because this saw is not very not very uh, 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 you know, it's very it's not it's not very uh, sharp. So, uh, but we're gonna work with Grandpa today. Grandpa, guys, sometimes it's okay to put a little effort in, plus I'm fat. <laughs> uh, uh, now we've got to go do uh, the opposite side. I'm going to move it up here. Keep it clean up so I can get some good leverage on it. Go, go, hey, use the entire blade. Stop, you know, stop uh, trying to cut such short, uh, sh short strokes. Lengthen it out. <laughs> That's what the, these tools do. These tools talk to you. Uh, so I'm listening to Grandpa. And you know what? Grandpa was right. <laughs> I did get a little splintering. Guys, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, uh, guys, I'm not making a piano. I'm making the box the piano fit in, you know? Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and stand it up. And not bad. Not bad at all. Now, 
see our ends are, ends are splintering. Um, I could take the uh, the uh, the router out. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it right, huh? I hear Grandpa talking again. Get the router out. Do it right. I'm gonna get the router out. So what this tool is gonna do is it's gonna help me take off the sharp edges at the bottom. It wouldn't hook carpet and those kind of things. And I have a, a the wrong blade, so I'm gonna have to switch this out and put in some kind of a. Uh, so you can see. Uh, down the router that I only will get the the edge. That edge is kind of nice. Gives it a nice speed. Okay, don't mind that. It's going to get paint on anywhere. Now we need to put a tray on here so the canvas can sit on it and also it can act as a, a place to set brushes and things like that. So we'll go ahead and set that up. We're gonna use we're gonna use this piece right here. And we're gonna put that down just inside put it in there level. I'm just going to uh, do a quick, uh, just mark it quickly. Now, that's when you get old, you can't find your pencil. Um, so, what I'd like to do with this is to, uh, is to put some screws in it. Um, it's not the easy way of doing it, but probably the best way. Uh, this looks like it's going to need at least three, uh, you know, maybe three screws. Let's see what my tape measure is going to tell me here. All right. Two and a, probably two and a quarter inch screws will work for this. Two and a quarter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and predetermine the distance here. Uh, 27 inches. So we're going to cut this thing off at 27 inches. Now I'm going to go over to the uh, to the circular saw for that. Go ahead and soften up, soften up the edges on this, uh, since we're going to be working around it with the router. So what I'm looking for is this specific tool right here, and this will allow me to uh, set screws deep inside of a piece of wood from the end. Hey. I hear a drone flying over. Somebody's got a new phantom. <laughs> it's kinda cool. Okay, so I'm gonna take this right here, pop it into this drill right here, and we're gonna go right straight down into the wood like this, okay? So this is going to give me a, uh, it's gonna tap it in for me. So don't tap it in just like that. Okay. There's a two and a half inch screw right here. These are kind of cool because I think these are stainless steel, which will look really cool. There's a square drive stainless screw Screw. That'll look nice in this project. I've probably got a million dollars worth of uh, old screws sitting around in this garage. 
from about a million projects. Now, I want to pre-drill into this stuff. This is a hard material. So what I want to do is get a longer bit, take this one out, of course put it away since I'm going to do it, I do it again. with the full size bit and then long, long drill this in. Now I'm just going to eye this up. You guys remember I'm building a, uh, I'm, build, I'm building a piano box, not the piano itself. Okay, so uh, let's, let's bring it down a little bit. I want to use as much of this uh, easel as I can. Got my first hole. Go get drill two out. Oh, got the wrong bit, right? And the square drive. The garage is the one, so I gotta do this. I gotta go this direction. Platform. Got the easel ready. So now I'm going to. Uh, I need to put the, the stand for the back. Um, I'm going to use. Uh, uh, a single. A single piece for that. So. If I turn it around. This piece will. Will go in here. And we'll hinge that. So so like so. Now I gotta go dig a hinge out of the uh, scrap heap. <laughs>
American. That's the one. That's not set again. Um, now I could leave it, but it, uh, it probably will be okay. Um, you see how? You see how that is still kind of sitting up? Um, all I got to do is just pull that screw out, drive it a little deeper. Um, it's not pulling in. Uh, it's standing pretty nice. Out of junk in my garage, I created a masterpiece. To make masterpieces! Yes! 